everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And if you're wondering, what the heck is this, Yvette? Why do you have angels all over the place? Listen, today you're going to find out one of my secrets and why do I have angels all over my home. But before we get started, if you're new to this channel, this is the metaphysical law of attraction channel that gives you manifesting techniques in all different ways. The only thing I'm asking for you to do to support this channel is to like, subscribe, tap the bell, and most of all, keep watching the videos. So now if you wanna know why I have all these angels around my house, keep watching. I'm back everyone. Now, again, you see that I have my favorite angels with me. I had these two, oh my God, maybe for about 20 years. Now, I keep angels totally around my house, whether it's an actual statue or it may be a, a picture or some incense or it may even be some oils. I even have angel wings that I keep all my crystals in. You're probably saying, well, Yvette, is that overdoing it? Like, why do you have all these angels all over the place? And I'm going to explain to you right now the benefits of having or incorporating angels or angel signs around your home. Now, the first reason is totally obvious, you guys. Angels are messengers of God, messengers of the universe. And when you place angels or the symbols of angels around your home, you are inviting the angels to bring in messages to you, to give you guidance. And let me tell you, it actually works. When you are doing your meditations or prayer work, it's always good to have some sign of an angel or a spiritual um, symbol around you to actually help give you that guidance, okay? Now, not only is the angels there for me in my home to help give me messages and guidance, but it's also there for my number two, and that is for protection. If you notice the angel wings, it's almost like it's surrounding the angel and surrounding you. So when you think of the angel wings, you absolutely want to say protection, guidance, comfort. That is number three. Yes, my third reason of having angels around my home is for comfort, everyone. When you go out and you encounter the full day, you run into positive things, negative things, and you bring that stuff back home. When you enter in your door and you see angels or angel wings or something symbolizing angels, you are being assured that once you step into this home, there's nothing but comfort. If you have a home where there's a lot of chaos, by placing angels around your home, you are actually calming, diffusing the situation and allowing peace and comfort to come into your home. Now, when I come home from a stressful day or a day that's been long, when I walk in the door and I see angels or I see signs of angels, I am being relaxed. I am basically being comforted. I am being placed in a state of, hey, look, that happened there. When I walk into my house, I know my house is peaceful, is calm, and it's relaxing. Now, we can take this a little further. When I'm doing my spiritual practices and I'm lighting a candle or doing prayer work, I always have some sign of an angel near me. But once I do my prayer work or my spiritual work, maybe I might even do a spiritual bath and have an angel in the bathroom while I'm doing my spiritual bath. These are the things that I do to help lift me up with my spirituality, to help me know or remember that I am connected to more than just who I am. I am connected to the universe. I am connected to God. And the God that I serve is in me, through me, and all around me. So when I see my angels, it is reminding me who I am, who I truly am, and letting me know that I can be, do, and have whatever it is that I want. Now, finally, what I want to say to put this all together, when you have angels around your home or symbols of angels around your home, you are basically inviting positive energy into your home, regardless of what's going on around you. In your home, they may be fighting. Put angels in your home. Outside at work, you might be stressed out. 
Put angels in your home. Some people even place angels outside of their home in their gardens, letting you know when you step towards this house, this house is protected. This house is peaceful. This house is full of joy. And this house represents the universe. So there's so many things you can do with angels. And I want to give you guys some little tips on the things that you can use. As you see already, I have angel statues. Some I keep in my living room. Some I keep in the office where I do my spiritual practices. Sometimes I take them and I put them in my bedroom. So another thing that I have mentioned is that I have angel wings around my home. Yes, and I place little things in them like crystals, oils, whatever it is I'm working in. And I allow it to be a plate to carry whatever it is that I'm working with. Now, around my neck, I have angel light. This is the crystal or the stone that represents the angels, okay? Angel light I use when I am dealing with communication because it is a blue stone or when I want guidance or direction from my angels. So now, what else can I tell you that you can use if you don't have the statues or if you don't have the wings around your home? You can actually use the oils, okay? Right here, I have Leokin's Awins oils. These are the Archangel oils, everyone. I have here um, Archangel Raphael. I have Gabriel. I have uh, Michael, Uriel, and I have Metatron. So I have all of these oils here. And based on what I need it for, what's going on in my life, I will put a little dab on my forehead, on my neck, on my hands, on my wrists. Okay, if you want to know more about the angels, please go to the angel playlist where I talk about each and every one of these angels. Now, the next thing that I can say that you can use to invite the angels into your home, and that is incense. You see here, I have a lot of incense, everyone. I have here in general angel visions, okay? I also have the Archangel incense to go along with the oils. So sometimes I just light an actual incense and I just let it burn. I might even walk it around my home to invite that particular angel in my home. If I'm having problems with communication or creating something or working on my business, I might ask for guidance from Gabe, Archangel Gabriel and I might walk around. If I'm having problems of my life purpose or protection, I might then seek Archangel Michael. When it comes down to my spirituality and trying to learn more, I might use Archangel Raziel. So there's a reason for everyone, Metatron, um, Archangel Uriel, which represents the sun, things growing. So there's a reason and you can use these things to invite the angels into your life to get direction, to get guidance, to get comfort, whatever it is you're seeking. The last thing I want to mention to you is on my vision boards, you know if you watch my videos that I always put some type of religious figure on my vision boards. Here, almost every one of them, there's always an angel. Not only one angel, maybe a few angels on my vision board. Here I have one, two, three, Four, I even have Archangel Raziel on my vision board. So I have angels everywhere, and I'm telling you why, and this is my secret. Now, where would you put these things if you wanted to do this? Me personally, I would keep angels where people gather. Aha, where people gather. You may also, too, want to place angels in your bedroom for protection, for messages, for guidance. You will also, if you have an office, um, I have one in my home, I place angels absolutely in that area. Now, another area where you might want to place your angels or something representing an angel is near the front door. Maybe you have a table or a console in by the front lobby and front door or the front entrance of your home. Maybe you want to put something like angel wings there or little angels like these actually to offer comfort when you come in the door. Okay, everyone, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, and I just gave you my secret on why I keep angels 
all around my house. So listen, if you like this video and you want more information like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, tap the bell, but most of all, just keep watching the videos. If you want to know more about my world of metaphysics and you want coaching or readings, please look in the description. Everything is there. And if you want to buy some of the incense, the oils that I have here, and some of the crystals, hey, look, just go in the description, go to the store. Everything is there. Again, everyone, thank you for watching this video and namaste.